What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's topic is gonna be simple. Why do you expect people to hire you if you're not hiring somebody within your same industry? Does that make sense? Let's talk about it. All right guys, just like my intro said, um, one of the big debates we kind of had on Facebook the other day and through a couple social media outlets was um, there was a photographer going around asking if they could get discounts for a photo shoot for them and their family, uh, maybe a photographer's discount or an industry discount or something, and which is a reasonable question, right? You kind of consider that. Bartenders might go to another bar and get a free drink or two, uh, but our world is different. We're, we're trying to price ourselves and make ourselves feel a little bit more niche and 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 make our clients understand why they're paying for what they're paying for because unlike bartending our industry maybe I'll get the same family once a year or once every two years so I can't really afford to give away stuff for free um, especially to other photographers and which kind of actually boggles my mind thinking about it now so the biggest education that I gave this photographer was uh, that same question asked at the beginning. Why would you expect somebody to pay for something in full when you don't even want to pay for it in full yourself? For instance, I start at $4,000 for a wedding. If I'm hiring a photographer, I'm going to be spending at least four to $6,000 for the wedding that, that say I'm booking because that's what I charge and I feel that's a reasonable rate. Whereas portraits might be 500 to $1,000. I'm not going to pay, I wouldn't expect to pay anything less than what I'm charging to get the quality that I want to get. So let's talk about that, photographers. Are you guys hiring out for your things? Are you hiring other photographers to shoot your newborn, maternity, your family photos, your professional headshots? Are you hiring photographers out there or are you the photographer that just kind of throws it on a tripod, does it themselves, and then preaches the opposite to your clients? There's nothing wrong with taking a selfie or taking a tripod out and getting photos, but that's not the experience that you're giving your client. And in fact, that's not the experience that I would want for my family to getting photos. Whenever I do a photo shoot of a family, it's an experience. They get me for an hour, we get to play, we get to hang out. I get these natural reactions of them that are really just amazing and lovely and, and that's what I want from them. I want my family to have a positive experience with the photo shoot and what that means is I'm hiring the photographer for who they are, what they can produce, and again, I don't have to edit and work on it at all. That's what I want for my family. I want the same thing that I give my clients because it's, it's less work and it's a way to capture me. The last thing I wanna do is put a tripod out Everybody say cheese, click that button, and then, you know, that's if I have a remote, but if I'm running back and forth, then it's not the same photo anymore. That's not the same real family style, and that's where I'm at right now. So um, within the same kind of thread we were talking about, a lot of photographers say, why don't you just set up your own tripod? I kind of, you know, kicked that away, and I said, why don't you just hire a photographer to do what you do? And I was amazed at the amount of photographers that were like, I have the gear to do it, I have the experience to do it, I'm gonna do it myself. That's not the point. But can you imagine if you tried to book a client and they said, you know what, I have, a, I have an iPhone, I have a tripod, I know how to use it, I'm cool. Those photographers will be the first photographers to go out and start playing the blame game on why they can't make money, why they can't do, the, you know, why they can't book the clients for the prices that they want. And for me, it's really infuriating. So the biggest thing to take from this, besides the comments that we're going to talk about uh, later on in a separate video, is hire out professionals to do stuff for you. First off, it's going to be a way better experience for you. It's going to come out great. And you're also supporting the industry that you're in as well. We always say buy local, keep it local. Reno here, we have, you know, local everything. But if you're not willing to invest within your industry, I have no idea why you think a client would invest in you at all. And this might be another reason why people are valuing themselves lower in their work because they don't feel like I'm I would never pay $500 to get my photos taken and they're charging $500 and they're not booking clients maybe because they don't believe in that or maybe it's a low end people that are charging $50 to $100 for a photo shoot can't get up to 500 because they're never going to pay more than $100 for a photo shoot let's think about that comment below guys let me know what you guys think especially if you're a photographer I'd love to hear your thoughts on this um Guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If this video helped you out in any way, give it a thumbs up. And of course, you can click that bell for notifications anytime I post a new video. Uh, just education stuff. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. It's a beautiful day right now. I'm going to go back and get some work done. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.